Now we can talk about factoring. Writing a number as a product of two other numbers is called factoring and this is really useful to be able to do this. There are a lot of problems that can be solved by factoring and later in the course we'll see how we can factor not only numbers but mathematical expressions. But we need to start by being able to factor numbers. So in this example, example we're told to factor the number 10. We're just going to write 10 equals and then write two numbers that multiply together to give you 10. So we'll say 2 times 5. Okay, so think of factoring as the reverse process of multiplication. Instead of saying 2 times 5 equals 10, we're starting with the 10 and we're finding two numbers that multiply to give us 10. So you can think of it as unmultiplying the 10. So 10 is 2 times 5. Now we could have also written this 10 equals 5 times 2 because the order doesn't matter multiplication is commutative. And note that we could have also said this, we could have also said 10 is equal to 1 times 10 or 10 times 1, but we're not going to concern ourselves right now with the, the factors 1 and the number. When we say factor a number, we generally mean to find the factors of the number other than 1 and itself. So a prime number because it has only the number 1 in itself as factors. A prime number cannot be factored and that's a good way to think about the essential aspect of a prime number. It's a number that cannot be factored. It can't be unmultiplied into two other numbers. Here's another example. Factor the number 8. That's easy. 8 is equal to 2 times 4. And it doesn't matter if you write 2 times 4 or 4 times 2. That's basically the same answer either way. Now sometimes there is more than one way to factor a number. And in this example we're told to factor the number 18 two different ways. So think of two numbers that multiply to give you 18 and 2 times 9 comes to mind. And then let's do it again. Find two different numbers. 18 could also be written as 3 times 6. So it's factored two different ways. Now I would not, in this case, I would not write 18 equals 3 times 6 and 18 equals 6 times 3 and try to count that as two different ways. 3 times 6 is really the same thing as 6 times 3. The point here is to find the factors. And in this case, we found one set of factors here and one set of factors here. Finding the same set of factors twice in reverse order doesn't count. But this counts as finding factors of the number 18 two different ways. In this last example we're told, find, uh, told to factor the number 40 three different ways. Three different ways. So 40, well 40 is equal to 2 times 20. We need to come up with two other ways. 40 could also be written as uh, 4 times 10 and then you probably recognize 40 just from basic multiplication 40 is 8 times 5 so that's the number 40 factored three different ways